Hi, I'm from Aussie Sports and we're going to talk about Sydney Roosters playing the, the New Zealand Warriors on Sunday the 17th of April, round six at two o'clock. So it's going to be a big clash today. So with James Tedesco going at captain and fullback, he scored 98 tries in his career and he's going to go, I reckon he's going to go really hard for that 100th try and I reckon he'll play a really good game. Daniel Tupo, again, this game will be like very athletic, based, basing on the players, and like uh, he'll be a big part of the game. And then again, Paul Momorowski, Daniel Tupo's centre, just passing to him, he'll have a big game as well, hopefully. Joseph Manu on the other outside, he he works with James Sesco very well, so those two should be a bit like a, of a combo. Kevin Nkwema on the outside shoulder of Joseph Manu, so he should have a good game as well. Sam Walker, the playmaker, he has to have a good game if the Roosters are going to win and James Tedesco is going to score his 100th try. So most of the team will be depending on him and Luke Carey to like guide that team the whole way down the pitch. Now moving on to the forwards, Jared Rhea Hargreave is big runner of the ball. Hopefully he doesn't get out because he will be a big, big gun for that game and we will need him. Sam Berrells, again, is a good player. He might get switched out like they did with Drew Hutchinson and um, Connor Watson the past few rounds. So that might happen on game day. So we're just waiting for that call. But then again, very good player. Lindsay Collins, very athletic, good ball runner. He'll be a good part. Nat Butcher, very athletic and he's good at tackles. He'll be good. Satili so Tupanua, he's, he's got to stick around Joey Manu because they're, they're, he needs to be in support of him. And also Sam Walker, when they're putting in those kicks, he needs to be there. Victor Adley, sort of like very good at tackling at the moment. Hopefully he stays in and it'll be a good game. And then moving on to the interchange. So Connor Watson might come on and switch for Sam Verrills on game day. We're waiting to hear that. But then again, also this interchange, like the past few rounds has been very, very strong. As soon as they come on, they're all ball running and it's been very good. So that's the all the 17 players playing for the Roosters and hopefully they have a good game. Now moving on to the Warriors. Reese Walsh, he, he's very athletic. So then again, it'll just be a very good ball running game. Dallin Matena Zilakasini, he'll be he'll be in support of Reese Walsh most of the game. And then Jesse Arthur's coming on from the Broncos. I think that'll be a big part of their squad. And hopefully he's done something to them. Adam Pompey. So he's he's good, very good, good tackler. And like we need, like if the Warriors are gonna win, all their backs have to have, have good defense, but also very good ball running. And then Edward Cossey coming in for Marcelo Montoya for a high tackle. Hopefully he has a good game. And Channel Harris Savita, then again, very good. Coming on, yeah, he'll be good. Sean Johnson, one of the best players in the Warriors and hopefully he has a very good game. So Adam Fanua Blake has been captain for this game. Hopefully he leads the team to something. Wade Egan at hooker. Bunty Ofa at prop. E. Dawkin playing second row. He, he should be very good. Bailey Sironen, he'll be very good at tackling and ball running. And Josh Curran, he's very athletic too. And then on the interchange, we're coming in Cody Nikorima, which will be very good for a number four team. Aaron Payne coming on. Alessia Katoa and Taniela Otukolo. 
So that's a very strong running forward pack. So that's both 17 players for each team. Let's see who's going to win.